What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey folks, how you doing this afternoon? Good morning or good evening with other time zone you're uh, watching this. And today, I'd like to talk about a, a topic in continuation with uh, our, our lifestyle going on here, which is called, uh, let me see, 3, 2, 1, MGTOW, baby. And uh, I'm not going to explain what it says, you can read. But, uh, alright, for those who can't read it, it's real men going their own way. I mean, men going their own way, MGTOW. But, uh, I want to talk about the, 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 the new, new phenomenon we got going on nowadays. And why? It's called the, the lesbian, the wayward lesbian women with more than three or f three kids now. If you notice, there's a lot of these chicks all of a sudden, quote unquote, turning lesbian who have three or more kids. Now they're the same. These are the same lesbians. They're, first of all, they're not really lesbians because they still they, they still take a dick once in a while. Then they're and they're lying to their lesbian friend. And no offense, let me give you a side note, guys. Stud lesbians will will will, will, will fucking suck just like a regular chick. Don't let the, don't let these lesbians fool you. I've had uh, I've had couple incidents where I, you know, played the field with lesbians. And I liked it because they, they, we, we kept it like 100. We kept it like, you do you, I do me. And it was perfect. I loved it. And this was the stud lesbian. This wasn't the female lesbian, whatever they call them. Whatever your role, whatever your fucked up roles are, I don't know. It was the, it was the female lesbian. It, it was the stud lesbian. The, guy, the one to act like a guy. And because I was like, hold on, man, I thought you didn't like, I would, I would do, each of them that I talked to, I'd say, thought you didn't like dudes. And they're like, they like dudes behind the scenes. They got to play the role for old girls, so they're getting dogged out too. But back to the lecture in hand. If you notice, there'll be a lot of phenomenon about these chicks, three or more kids, they're either gay or bi, they, they're most of them, or whatever they want to call it. And these are the chicks I keep telling you about. These chicks have. These are the options they're having nowadays because, no offense, who wants who wants to do wants a who wants a chick with like you know three or more kids? Who wants that? Hell, I don't want one with one kid. <laughs> to be honest with you, you know who wants a chick that has three kids and you got to deal with all that bullshit and you got to deal with her? I mean, and and come on, seriously. These chicks are coming out there, and then what gets me is they want to talk shit. I'm like, the reason you're gay is because that's the option that was left for you. You can't find a good man because chances are you fucked over three of them because you got at least three kids. So I'm, I'm going by the assumption or the theory that one kid per man, or you had you had a bar, or you mess with or you mess with fucking jerk offs, and all these guys see it. And you don't, I mean, and they don't take care of the kids either, or you can't say that you're looking for a good man because either you had one or you mess with jerk offs. I mean, it takes two in a relationship, but you can't tell me out of, out of all these guys that you mess with, you couldn't find Mr. Right. Or they play the bullshit, and I'm, here's another one they want to tell you oh, you got to tame me. Who the fuck are you, a tiger in fucking the zoo? What is he talking about tame me and this and that? And but God, look, I myself don't have time for that. One time I heard that, that some chick telling me that, well, if you can tame me, I'm like, I don't have to fucking tame you. Get the fuck out. I was like, I ain't going. I'm too, I'm too old myself to go through that bullshit. I ain't trying to train no chick. And, and then they're like, like well, I, I'm gay because there's no guys out there. No, there are guys out there. There are guys willing to take care of a woman. But there are guys out there that are willing to take care of a woman that's worth it. 
You're not worth. You're worth. You you tarnished your value when you spread open your legs many a time. I can see if you had one kid. I mean, even though the, the it's frowned upon that you have any and in, in for a certain this lifestyle. I understand if you had one kid. Okay, I can go for that. Two kids. I'm shit. Nah. Over two. Yeah, that's just that's like that's like not giving it up. That's why you're going gay. A lot of guys are like they don't want to deal with that. They don't want to deal with your little badass kid that you don't watch. They don't want to deal with you fucking around with all three of these dudes that you've probably been fucking around with. I mean, like I said, if, like, if you're still looking for a good dude, what happened to the three that you were messing with? I mean, common sense would tell you to tell these guys to ask themselves, to ask these questions before. Like, like me personally, if I'm messing with a chick, Let's let's just say I'm I, I, I'm dumbing down here. Let me I'm, I'm coming down to the, to the simp level. Let's let's say that. Let, hold on, let me let me hit myself in the head a couple times so I can dumb down to you simp's. Okay, I'm a simp. All right, I see that you have two chicks. I mean, a chick that has two kids. She has two kids' fathers. They're not in the lives, and she treats them like dirt. Maybe she gets a. a, a Child support, maybe one, maybe one, maybe one pays, maybe they both pay. Whatever, whatever the case may be. Don't you think you should be smart enough to realize that when it goes sour with with you, first of all, you're gonna you're gonna be dumb enough to have a chick to her. And what, don't you think you should be smart to think, hey, look, man, if I have a kid to her and this goes sour, look what she did to dude A, look at dude B. I'm just gonna be another. I'm gonna be another chain in the link. I mean, another link in the chain. That's all you're gonna be. Is just another. You're another link in the chain. So that's why I just. That's why those are pump and dumps. This, you know, get you know, get make sure she's on birth control, or give her buy yourself the uh, the plan B. It's forty bucks for a box, and say, hey, look, this is how it is. Either you're taking these. Or we can't do our thing. If she doesn't want to take them, you don't do your thing. Don't have no unwanted bastards to dumb bitches. And that's the thing. You know, if they then if she, just kick her to the side. But a lot of these, a lot of these chicks will come up and say, "Well, I'm I'm gay because there's a lack of men around." Men don't want to do your dumb shit. And I try to tell these women, and then what gets me is after after the first two. This, see, they, they, these aren't your these aren't your mother's women now. Remember doing them like I, I remember my mom and them and your mom and them. I'm 46. A lot of our mothers had, were busy. They they they're not they're not they weren't all these out of shape fat chicks at age 23 that you see now. They stay busy in the kitchen. They ran around with the kids. They stay active. They didn't have time to sit around and smell the coffee and watch TV and stay on welfare all day. That's why, if you notice, a lot of a lot of our mothers, they're, they're not, they're not, they're, they, they weren't, they weren't, they weren't at as far as, <coughs> excuse me, as far as exercise active, they were life active. I mean, they were, they got out there, they they were running around, cooking the dinner, taking so and so to football, basketball. Weightlifting, doing this, doing they were they were they were, they were active, and that that that's keeping them. That was that's longevity in a way. That's kind of exercise, but you, but these chicks nowadays aren't on that tip. They're on the get the check, go downtown, take you to the office, get your test, get your money, and sit at home all day. That's what they do. And then, like I said, now they want to claim, well, I'm a lesbian now. You have no choice, bitch, but to be a lesbian. It's all about levels, as I keep saying. So, thank you for watching this video, and uh, I appreciate it. I'm out. Peace. For this and many other videos, check out my page. I'm sure you'll like it from internationals to MGTOW. Check out my page. Out of focus.